I live here with my husband, two kids, and our massive Bernadoodle, Cody. We have lived here for seven years now. When we bought the house, it was very sectioned off areas that I knew right away we wanted to get rid of some of those walls. Designing my own home was more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I knew exactly what the space plan and the floor plan were going to look like. Getting down to the details was so much harder. There's so many options available and I see them all and I know that the next trend is coming. So I really wanted to be careful that I was choosing things that were going to last the test of time but still have a feeling of now and modern and current. It was much more emotional than it is when it's for my clients, which it feels very much more definitive. I know exactly what the right answer is right away. Uh, it was a little harder here. We really wanted to bring as much light in through the front of the house as possible. That's the south facing way of the house. They used to have a single door with two frosted panels and I wanted to open it up a bit more. So we put in the double doors with more glass and more light in to be able to connect it and make it feel like it's part of the rest of the room. You know, having the wood doors on the closet and then having the flooring going all the way through was really important. The living room, I wanted to make this bench that went all the way across that is the hearth, but also gives some more seating area for overflow of guests and gives a more relaxed feel in the space. Uh, and it's been great. I sit there more than I thought I would. And it does obviously hold lots of toss cushions, which we love. My husband wants to kill me, but we always need more. The fireplace was his baby. It used to be on the ground and we raised it up as part of the renovation so he could see it. It's wood burning and he loves it. You know, he can sit on the sofa. He doesn't have to look over the coffee table to see it. He can sit here, he can see it. So that was really important to him. The fireplace is covered with Decton. It's completely heat resistant, great on top of fireplaces. The idea was that it would look a little bit like a plaster finish that would be really subtle and not too overwhelming. Couldn't have the wood right up in front, so we put another piece of Decton, really simple, in set to be flush with the surface. But having these two rooms that really connect together, it is technically the formal living room, but for us, it's really our great room. We decided for the layout that we wanted the kitchen to be really the center of the house, but I didn't want the kitchen to be totally kitchen. So the appliances have got cabinet panels on them. The cooktop is in there, but it's a slide in, so it's a little bit more discreet. We've got our coffee, toaster, breakfast nook area in there, and it can get hidden away when we're having people over, but we have it open a lot when it's just the family around and it's very functional. Very early on, I wanted to make sure that we did the seating on both sides. This was gonna end up being the space that we're inevitably are gonna eat a lot of our meals. It's sort of nice to be able to face the people that you're eating with and have a conversation. But also it was really important, really for my husband, to have a seat here at the island and be able to see his fireplace. And of course we had to have a leg to hold that up and so I talked to my iron guy and I found some pictures online and he built this for me. Over the island I wanted to make sure that we had something that was going to be really sleek and run the length of the island, but I didn't want the whole line to be the same thing. So I worked with Katie at Concord Lighting and we created this two-step piece and it helps really define the eating end of the island from the sort of more functional working end of the island. Because we've got all of our seating at this one end, we were able to put more storage down at the other end. The recycling bin is at the end of the island on the other side and there's a space above so I quickly made a little change with my mill workers so we adjusted that a little bit and now we've got the paper towels and they're hidden, they don't have to be up on the counter. The less on the counter, the better. I knew I didn't want a white kitchen. I wanted something that was bold and different. I was looking at all the different bedroom or colors and I finally gave them two colors and said this one's a little too green and this one's a little too blue and they just found me this color and I love it, like it works wonderfully in the space. The countertops are porcelain, not quartz. They've got a pretty bold pattern going through them, but they're so durable. They are completely heat resistant. They're so forgiving. You can put anything on them and nothing breaks, so it's, it's fantastic. The shelf was a tricky little negotiation, but um, yeah, they went all the way up. They built it as one piece, and then there's brackets in the wall that are supporting it. But it was, um, yeah, it was a bit of a negotiation on my part to get them to make it as deep as I wanted. And everyone said, oh, you've got the vent above. Don't do it, don't do it. But I, I was happy with it. We don't have any major venting issues. It's fine, it still works. And I love having the shelf as one piece. It's just so much more cohesive and then it, and it just kind of gives a nice luxe feel to it. It's our bar area. It sometimes can be our coffee area as well, but it's sort of a secondary space so that we're not on top of each other when we're having parties. 
my husband does all the bartending, so he's got all his stuff set up over there, and some of the appies sometimes will sit on the counter there, sometimes they'll be here. People can have little sort of different areas to be in. The freezer's actually over there too, so we have the freezer and the fridge are separate. The freezer is flanking the bar on one side, which is great. And I love the backsplash there, it's just uh, really made the space. We decided not to carry the counter all the way up and we've done these gorgeous, they're called finger tiles, but the, they've got this beautiful bluey green edge to them that sort of fades out. And we just stacked them and I, I just love the way they've finished off that space and made it a little different, but they tie in so well with the color of the cabinetry. And then the wood shelves make it open. We can have our wine glasses readily available to us. It keeps it easy and a little more casual. We used to have a family room at the back and no one was ever in there very much because the kids all go downstairs now or they're in their bedrooms. So there was enough space there to create this second sitting area. It's a great spot. My husband and I have our coffees in the morning there and I actually will sit there for hours on my computer doing work. It's sort of become my little spot. And I love the settee that we have there. It used to be my mother-in-law's. We had it recovered and found the great wallpaper and the light to finish off that moment. I hope we're here forever. I love this house. This is exactly the vision that I had for this floor, which was the beauty of doing it for myself. And I could make all the decisions that I wanted for me and my husband and my kids, of course, as well. But yes, we plan to be here for a very, very long time.